Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final, final match of tonight on Meta HSC 2022 Week 3 with the Victorians. Join with me once again is Has Daddy Slim. Yep, very nice to hear your voice once again. And well, here we are, last game of the day. And it's been, I would say, a pretty good one so far. 13-11, a win for the St. Andrews boys getting over St. John's in their first game. And then it was a 13 to 2 as Elwood College got to Brookside. Well, they just they caught them off guard, Brookside at the start, with a five man uh, attacking squad. Didn't quite go the way that they were hoping, but, you know, sometimes that happens. And now to finish, we've got Glen Waverley secondary, secondary College up against Lakeview Senior College to win the day. And, well, I mean, we've already watched the, some of the Glen Waverley games, and they've been they've got a very good side there, some very good players. Haven't seen much of the Lakeview guys yet, but I have heard some good things about these ones. Uh, you know that they're up there; they've got a chance towards the finals end of things. But I got to say, uh, you know, last map here, we're going to Breeze. Not my favorite map. <laughs> and I feel like I, I feel like a few people might agree with me in that regard, but maybe it's just me. I don't know. I feel like Breeze Breeze Hate was there early. Maybe it's maybe it's called down a bit. Maybe I'm just you know, I'm just not you know never going to get used to this map playing it. But uh, this should be a good one to finish. A lot of excitement, chat. It's been going all night. You know, everyone's been popping off, enjoying themselves. Usually the Glen Waverley fellas to this one. Uh, the chat usually gets moving a fair bit. So. Remains to be seen how this one will go, but I'm looking forward to what should hopefully be a great game to finish this night. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a great night. And obviously, to close out tonight, got to give another massive shout-out to our sponsor, Torrens University of Australia. Each year, they bring the bright awards all around Australia. High school students in year 10 to 12, an opportunity to show off their design skills to industry pros from various creative fields. So we're all gamers. So if you're into character art graphics, design all 3D and animation. Take a look right now. You could win $1,000 or $3,000 for your school. Imagine that. Maybe new PCs, perhaps some new equipment or software, perhaps even an eSports lab. But at the same time, to put the best entries together, pop into our Discord and check out the link in announcements or in chat for design school holiday workshops over the coming month. So we give a massive shout out to Torrance University of Australia, Billy Blue College of Designs, and of course, into MSI. Make sure to check out their gear. Get some, build up into your dream PC, become that god, that legend, that upcoming superstar rising to the works for the OCE to be picked up for the rest of the groups. And... Let's just do it, all right? It is going to be something that we're going to be going through. As we get back into this, going back to what you were saying, has Breeze, I do agree. It's one of those maps where it feels a little bit too huge to play into just the 5v5. If we're going back into the old CS days, maybe if we're doing like a 15 or even 16 on 16, then that's a possibility, <laughs> you know? It's sort of like brings yeah, back no. that Aztec feel, yeah? <laughs> that would that would definitely change things up, I would imagine. Unfortunately, we are stuck with the five players on both sides. So usually I think like we've seen a lot of this, Chambers become a very big map pick for this one. You know, you've got the ultimate there, the operator set up the same thing as well with a lot of jet plays. You do see a lot of Viper lineups as well, especially over towards, uh, I would say, the A site. And I feel like the A side is where a lot of things tend to go down early. If you get onto that site, you get the lineups right, and you just get the smokes in position, you can get yourself some very nice, you know, easy plants and then just sort of play off that afterwards from that main position. And it makes things more difficult. Are you, you have got to be kidding me. Are we doing five, five? <laughs> There's, there is absolutely no way. Oh, okay, so <laughs> not quite the five. But we've got four. <laughs> Select <laughs> your agent. Well, we've got four. Um, I yeah, I don't know. I, you tell me, Amp. I maybe I'm missing strat. I, maybe I didn't get the message about it. Just going with the, all the attacking, you know, the the big boys. But I'm better on the omen. That's the bit of the change up there because I was thinking, you know, five again. But that's good. A little bit of a change up. Maybe on the other side of things, we look at the go Waverly guys. Uh, it's sort of just a, you know, fairly normal map picks around for Breeze. Lazy, I guess, is an interesting one going there with the Yoru, but then with the ultimate, the amount of space you have on this map, being able to just get to certain positions there and also with teleports means that there's a lot more 
chance that he can get into some nice positions. But, well, the five didn't work. Maybe the four will. Oh, uh, dear. Well, hey, look, you know, if we're going to be dueling it all the way off, what better way is it to duel on Breeze when you have an open water right there? Uh, look how serene it is. The surrounding, obviously... Thank you to Temporal, who's actually uh, doing your observes for tonight. Uh, always doing a bang up job, making our lives a lot more easier. As we get into this, obviously, Glenn Waverly is going to be going into a rather interesting round. Um, they have the more standard setup, obviously, with the Viper and server to play for the strategy and the info. Uh, the rest side could just be bowling out onto the new aggressive meta as they are all stacking towards Pyramid. B site non existent for the defenders as well. And they're talking about Traver Vine. Prime better. So, as the spike continues to pick down Mr. KFC, and better holding this one down nicely. Better with. Oh, but he's not put away there from Vico. They know his position as well. Hyshaw will finally get rid of him. And now it's left for Mr. KFC. Already damage done, 30 HP, and the Viper all up as well. No utility available. The nades would have been nice in this situation. Vico is low on that half HP, but now he's been spotted. There can be the swing on out. And Vicone will finish there. Two in the round, and it's going to be the start here that Glenn Waverly were after. As they get off there. Pistol the plant. It got a little hairy towards the end there, but they get the all important first pistol round on the board. So this is going to get you know, two of the players you know, straight up. They can stack up into the Vandal, uh, get a few Spectres. Um, I think this is the more standard setup. But then when you look at Lakeview, uh, I was actually just staring down the barrel. They oh, let's go, let's go. They're gonna get oh, yeah. three buckies in a marshal. I mean, that's exactly <laughs> what we're looking for in this long range jewels. Possibility of a bait with that marshal. Yeah, Never mind. Endo is gonna be put down really early, and the rest is gonna be around. There's the bucky also gonna bounce. Get that bucky into great effect. There's gonna be the one kill for Tolini. Doesn't get a second, but loser quick is going to quickly grab Lazy into the return. 3 or 2 situation as Rosa pushes, but it's not enough to get a kill. Nice damage all around. They're getting dangerous. My KFC also going down, but loser's quick. Pretty much going to be cold all the way to the corner, and there's going to be the warping to finish. Yeah, some interesting buy-ups there with the Bucky's. Do deal a bit of damage towards the start of that round there, but... Still, they're going over. They get that third or the second one up as they move towards that third round. The full buys can sort of start to roll in here. I mean, it's an interesting one here for Lakeview that they have, you know, the credits in an interesting spot because of those force up with those shotguns earlier. And you can see, I mean, loses Q. He does have that opportunity to buy up. Everyone else is on judges. This is, uh, are they maybe they're playing strat roulette? That could be a possibility. And, <laughs> Well, finally, the A-Site won't be hit. It's actually going to be... What can Mike do in that situation? Out here as well, but KFC will put him down. 3v3. Trades don't fall too badly in their favor. So you go back towards that A-Site pixie, though, up in the corner. That's the door for the The opportunity for the Lenny, those man, to get those on. Pixie finishes it. The bonus round has put through a 3 0 start here for the side of Glen Waverley. And for Lakeview Amp, uh, well, it's, again, they're just forcing. It's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't really know. It's something. It's definitely some, something that's definitely happening. Yep. I uh, really, really. Long strat right there, executed by Lakeview. They were just looking to do maximum damage with a three judge setup with one uh, vendor coming through. I think it's going to be the same thing for this run as well as they go for. I guess this is the 2.5 play. Um, and but Lazy is going to quickly put that one down. I'm better. It's just going to be jump. taken down. Tortellini going to be smoked out and to be pushed. The judge is going to come alive by in front of a vendor. That is going to be a bad time. And now all of a sudden they take. The first one, and the, the only one with the value right here onto that long distance dueling. Oh, doesn't even get a chance to operate. And so, it's a quick four rounds on the side of Glenn Waverly, who came in prepared and ready to take everything to handle the surprise. I think after four rounds, they are used to the shenanigans, and now we're looking. 
for Lakeview's response because if they come out with a full buy on the Vandals, that could just be the long con that they will pop it in the rest. Nope, never mind. I'll take that right back. Three buckets of the Vandal. Let's go. Well, there is an opportunity here again with these shotgun palms. But I mean, as you said, they've sort of gotten. Might be happening here, Glenn Waverley. That round, they only falling on that judge. Who's and now it's Losers does have himself a Vandal. But he's not going to be heading a bit KFC. I think he may have been spotted there as well. And he's going to be revealed. So he's in a whole lot of trouble. And long range Bucky is always going to be a bit of a problem. Roasted's chucking towards mid side here. And he might have a couple coming his way. And he will check him out though. And now jumping on top of him. And of course, Lenny will put him away. Vandal picks up. And Ultimate's gone as well as they start to push it here. Pixie's been knocked down of this position here as the blind puts him away. Shock Dart puts him down towards 40 HP as he starts to get away. And Lazy's managed to find himself too, though. Puts away Tortellini's ultimate and gets him on the flyby as well as he goes back in. And now, 4v3 situation. Ando coming in here with the bucket on the retake. Q will get one, but Pixie puts him down. And now Ando caught off guard from Lazy. I'm better. Well, I don't know if he's better than these three at the moment because he's only got the four HP available. Oh, actually, nice. Put a nice on the bike going. But Lazy's there. Ball the trade back out, finds himself three in the round. And it is a 5-0 start here on the side of Glen Waverley. <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> Are we playing CS 1.3? I mean, the bunny hopping and all the big pump action shot. It could just be in full effect, as there is going to be a difference. Here we go. They were just setting us up for the mega bait. So there is going to be the full Vandals purchase. A possibility, a real 9,000 IQ play could just be able for the defense right there. Right. As there right. is for proper long range, there's going to be the blaze coming up as well. Trying to get the reset, looking for the absolute pick. But Vicon, obviously, with that 24 is also executed. I'm better quickly take that first one. The spike is dropped, but I'm better is going to be denied anymore. This is oh, they are just going to be hammered in as we're going for 2v2. Time to jump. Time to jump. An opportunity in this round for Lakeview to find that first the blank behind from a KFC grabs that one and Pixie's gonna go down to Wando to one. They some nice trades and a nice two v two finish there as well. They get on the board here, Lakeview five to one. And then Waverley drop there first. Still have themselves a nice buy coming in to this one. Three ultimates available here as well, Em, for the guys over on Lakeview as they have their vandals out. Towards Lenny might be a bit low. Looking to pick up that Marshall by the looks of things. But it's vandals across the board for everyone else. Full utility, full armor. As they look to try and find their second round holding on the defensive side. It looks like again. The A site seems to be the way to go for a lot of teams. And again, with the drone coming out to one of these early, but Hugo's gonna find that one nicely. He can't get tagged as well. They know he's positioning. Dart will go up. But that's going to be destroyed immediately. Oh, going to destroyed immediately. Actually missed that first one as Mick Kev's AFC is trying to go through that big tube. Roast is going to get rid of him there. And Roast finds another one to Ando. As they try to rotate across. Luz is going to hold this one down. He goes to second. One lazy push him away. And high shot grabs Tortellini. So all left to I'm better. Has found the first. The spike's heading towards the B side. I think what Lazy just did there, gotta give him a highlight. Like, that was 100% um, Roru special right there. <laughs> has to be a well, he knows where he is. <laughs> a cheeky interruption. I mean, like, okay then. I'm better. He's gonna quickly just confirm in front of his face and say, ah, I see that you are plenty here. Um, a little bit of a villain shot right there. Uh, as high shot is gonna take on better right there. Uh, five rounds onto the deficit. <laughs> I think it's the Omega bait that's just been thrown all around that uh, is giving us a little bit of an entertaining show. There is going to be a judge picked up for Tortellini. I mean, are we going to pick up two more? That could just be a uh, full round. At the same time, there's going to be uh, one order against the three. Lazy can just quickly activate and just go straight in, infiltrate the site. Um, can probably go in and get a lot of info for his team and then they look to push with the jet knives. Uh, it's going to be very devastating. Well, here we go for round number eight. Will be the pop of ult there from Lazy. He starts his way through. 13 kills leading to the summit so far. He won't be able to add to that there as Lewis is going to put him away. 
Hydra will be able to pop off this position and work to push away towards the lady. Still a lot hanging around this side. The plan will go through here for the fort. Should I say, that takes his time. He's just doing the old fake out of Pixie. Meanwhile, loses an I'm better have found a couple. And 2v3, and while High Shot does have the old available here and they're inside the cloud, there is an opportunity for One someone, someone here enemy. as he walks on out and loses. Finds the third of the round, and all of a sudden it's left all on the Pixie, and he can do nothing as Mick KFC jumps on him. And Lakeview find their second. There you go. There, there's, there is the play that we were talking about, but... Uh, Lakeview was able to utilize that one, and so, yeah, a very surprising eco round came out. I mean, there was the half fight, but at the same time, no one was looking for them to really defend this one up, especially with Yoru, dimensional drifting forward, finding out, but then getting shut down by Q. Um, yeah, a very, very awesome round coming in. They are going to be able to give them the chance to breathe. Um, at the same time, they are going to have the full buy. Uh, Roasted is going to be relying on the knives, trying to get the good old thing in there, get the knives sharpened, trying to get a reset, trying to get the full through. Um, it's just quite interesting to see where we're going to be at let's in go, round go. number nine, especially from a very quick four rounds with judges and buckets flying out. And now Glenn Waverly sort of readjusting into what they've been fed. Going to push through that one first. Grabs the first one there. Almost actually misses the fake one there. Avira on the flash. That works it pretty nicely. Rose has found one, but loses. Puts him away. The nice back 3v3. Puts Lenny off the angle here as well. But Lazy is just on another level at the moment. Takes that fight. Finds his 15th. Will be some nice nades there. And it lands on high shot. KFC puts it back into the 2v2. They've got the weaponry as well. Pixie up the corner. Might have just seen his shoulder there as the blind goes out. Slowly Last walking up this angle. Again. Needs to try and take this fight, but Lazy puts KFC down and Pixie finds Ando. And that is going to be seven on the board for Glenn Waverley. And then, I mean, the difference maker at the moment, I mean, most of the stuff, like the fights have been fairly even once these rifles have come out, but it's just Lazy. 16 kills on the board he is just the difference maker. Yeah, well, hey, that's hey, the thing, right? Spike. If you can't shut down lazy, the rest, you're going to be able to play into defense. But if you take them lazy, you can start getting aggressive. You can start having the flank. Um, it feels like playing Waverly, they, although they're winning all the rounds right now, could just be a bad premonition towards what the future is going to be. As we're going to have a quick dash in. Knives are going to fly out. The reset is just going to be a trade. But I'm better. It's going to pick up two in place of the one. 3v2 situation, a real opportunity as Pixie is trying to scaffold some more information. Gets the first one, there's going to be the Leer, but Endo is going to be able to one on three for his team. A real opportunity. And there we go. Mike Bok Bok is going to get into 7 3. Well, there we go. I mean, that's the one they're after. They find that one close. 3 to 7. Still two rounds left in the half. They can make the 7 to 5. They get things following their way. And. Again, I mean, the buyers are out. And I mean, better losers, 10 apiece. They're putting on a bit of a show. And to be, to think this as well, I mean, they're going onto the attacking side with four duelists as well. There is a possibility. If they have enough rounds on their side, they just put a bit of doubt in the Glen Waverly boy's head. There is a big, big opportunity right now. Oh, boy. That's not what you want to see. A few judge uh, block shots coming into you. Um, as high shot is going to be on the judge as <laughs> Oh my god. They're going to return the favor. Uh, <laughs> uh, what are we casting? <laughs> well, it's something, that's for sure. Meanwhile, though, Pixie. What to find there? And he's just walking out here. And Ando. Oh, way. Oh my down, Roasted making his way slowly up here with the bucket on 28 HP, standing. as Lazy does find one, but towards Lenny with a trade up, and this could be a fourth on the board most likely. Roasted though, playing close side, remaining. finds Luz, is getting up an opportunity with a bucky. Unfortunately, it will be the judge coming out on top, the automatic shots deliver the final blow. Last, Last round, round before, before the Swiss. Four to seven, like you. Yeah, just, you know, the rounds, they've accumulated nicely, and there is a <laughs> chance here for a fifth. Hey, look, you know, they're going to pick up the jar. Oh, Operator. Oh, Odin. Odin. Yes, let's go. We're going to have an Odin play. I think this is one of the more variety of blazing guns coming from a side tonight than anything else. And so they're giving us a real show. 
against um, a 7 4 deficit. It's not too bad. Oh, no. Q, he barely misses that operator, but he's going to quickly tag Vykor onto the half. But Vykor is going to get this one through. Here comes the Hunter's Fury. Tags the one, gets Endo down, and identifies the third. A lot of information, a lot of value just from that one ult. That's it from behind, though. Lazy has put down Tortellini. So he's well aware if that uh, teleport does come in, there could be a bit of trouble. But oh, the blind there from late. That's insane. He was ready for it. Plays it perfectly. Vikon puts away better. And Glenn Wavely will finish with eight. I mean, Switching Lazy's on that. That's a, a perfect one. You get the teleport through with that blind. Because, I mean, KFC had him dead to rights. But... Uh, it's that, a bit that was... hard to kill someone when you are blind. Maybe just holding down the trigger there might have worked, but well played oh. from Gunway, Blue, well played from Lazy. 20 kills in the first half. But four away at Lakeview, they've got an opportunity That's here worse. as they go over to the attacking side. They've got the four duelists. So if they can work their magic here, it's oh, something to do. I mean, Better's got himself the smokes. You got the flashes with Tortellini and Ando. Losers also has himself a few small, short smokes as well. Nade stuff from KFC. It is possible. There is definitely possible possibilities right here. If they get this pistol, you know, start working their way back in. If I was a Glenn Waverly supporter or player, I'd start just to worry a tad. It's not panic stations yet, but you never know. Oh, well, let's hope they can you able some form of play. Uh, oh, Headhunter, yes, that, but Vicon's just going to get the quick one. Uh, PC's is going to pick up like KFC at the same time. There is going to be the play. There is the disconnection, reconnection back in. They're going to spot out most of the players. The Lyric is going to provide value for Ender to quickly resume his guns. Um, but yeah, he's just going to be pushed. And the final person for the Lini with the shortage, trying to find something. That something is not going to come through. Um... Yeah, that, that was kind of rough they were they could not get onto the b side and that mid jewel was a little bit more too funky for them uh, it, it's a real shame um coming into it because if they utilize that correctly and just really push that b into a stack could just be the difference in there but they wanted to play for more of a bait style which really resulted in a deficit and now they're going to pull out the bucky as an attacking side against the marshals onto the side as well so we shall see how much value they're going to be able to surprise us with that does remain to be seen we're running right through this one as well hey coming up close so oh, Better's just chilling in his own smoke there, but Lazy's already shot down one. Pixie with a trade on the hand over as well. At least one there, but this Mai is falling to pieces, unfortunately, for the side of Lakeview. They force up. And it's going to work against him. It does have a judge available. Gives it a nice little bit of BM then. It's a high shot. But, uh, just, yeah, well, okay. Yeah, go back for a few more. Really tell us what you think about that one. As jumping up, he's going to be spotting out a couple there. Sheriff available, trying to bring them into these close fights, unfortunately that's never giving this opportunity, the Sheriff shot's not quite hitting there as he makes his way away, but Pixie is going to be having none of that, and it's a 10th on the board there for Glenn Waverley, he finds 3 in the round, and well, what would have been a full buy going in if they had saved some credits, Imp, is now going to be not even a buy at all, unless they, maybe they'll just do it again, the force up, they seem to love it, and it's happening. There's buys for them. They, they're always gonna have buys. <laughs> Look at that. They have the stingers, the inspector, the sheriffs, uh, instead of the judges. So they're really just going through the whole weapons choice. I mean, the next thing would just be full area spy, right? That, that, that could also be another thing if they get out this round. Six round deficit. <laughs> oh, Rosa's gonna push them. That's not what you want to do against stingers. But at the same time, I think they're just having a nice little bit of a handshake into the duel. Um, Vicon quickly get himself to safety, having no a lot more Pixie and Lazy. They're just gonna pick up kill after kill. Well, four v two situation, and Ando's been put down to ten. Like jumping back and forth there towards that heaven position, Tortellini out towards mid side. He knows Pixie's around that area. As Ando goes peeking into three, Tortellini's found one. The Stinger landing some nice damage. Vicon is there for the immediate trade, and eleven to four. And Waverly, a solid start to this defensive half. And as they now find themselves with two rounds away from closing this one out, 
But the rifles are out here for like a few minutes. This is where things really start to turn around here. Go! I mean, th this is where we want to see the variety. Uh, this is probably possibly one of the last chances to put this one through on the side of Lakeview. But one has got to say, Lakeview is having a great time against Glen Waverly. And I think Glen Waverly are thankful for it too. They're just having an old-fashioned, you know, juke out. My roast is going to quickly execute my KFC. Um, and then, oh, spot one more, misses the shot, so I'm better, he's going to be able to keep his life as the vice versa as well, and then pushes forward, gets picked up by Lazy on that Bulldog, and yeah, it's going to be 4v2, there's going to Phoenix run it back, he can just run it back right now and get something through, versus gets put down eventually, nice shot through, and I'm better, is going to keep on pushing, make this into a 2v2. Trades himself nicely there with Tortellini, who still managed to stay alive with 11 HP, but high Spice shot falling means spot. there's trouble. Tortellini's going to try and go out here with the ultimate. Unfortunately, it's going to fall a bit short, and now they're well aware of his positioning right now. Spike out in the open. I can just hold this angle. That's really going to sell everything there. Needs to land a headshot, and it's not coming his way. High shot finishes off the round. 12 on the board, Amp, and we are now... But one away from this one closing out, Glen Waverly looking to secure themselves this win. Meanwhile, Lakeview, I mean, it ain't over till it's over, but they've got a lot of work to do here. As uh, more Buckies, geez, they just, it's shotguns to all, but the Buckies seem to be a real treat for them. Oh, let's go. Everyone, Bucky, come on, Endo. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> yes, it's the winner. Let's go. Five of them! No. Full buys! This is the full buy! <laughs> oh no! He goes to the judge, but he doesn't have armor, so uh, very interesting last possible round coming in. As they quickly swarm into the B, Lazy just goes from the flank, he gets a triple! And I think he wants that ace right now, fakes them all the way through, high shot's gonna deny, but yeah. 13 to 4, a victory for the Glen Waverley Secondary College on the attack. What a round! We treated ourselves as a closer on Breeze. I mean, we came through thinking it was going to be an absolute closer, and boy, did we get a closer for tonight. Well, it was something. I mean, another this time it was the four jaws out instead of the five, but uh, unfortunately that strat just doesn't seem to be working at the moment for teams that are attempting it. But, I mean, all credits to Lakeview for giving it an attempt, and... Bringing out the shotguns as well. Really nice to see all the Buckies as well. And uh, our MVP for that one. Got to go to Lazy Amp. I mean, he was just enormous on that one. Uh, shut, I mean, at the end, another 3K to finish shutting it down. I think ending with almost about 30 kills. I'm, I know because I just clicked off the actual scoreboard bit. But, uh, yeah, well, 28. Very close. 28. <laughs> so pretty close. A very nice game for him. And uh, considering there was only 14 rounds as well. So two kills a round. Not too bad. That is a decent average one you'd like to keep. But yeah, Glen Waverley, they find themselves, I believe that's their third win from three matches. So they continue to roll on towards the finals. Still two rounds to go. But plenty of time left in it for things to, you know, maybe change up. For Lakeview, yeah, I mean, look, they were definitely trying something different, but it didn't quite go their way. So they get that one done. And okay. that does mean yeah. that is pretty much us done for games for the evening. I believe we before we do finish. Yeah, uh... shout out to everyone as well. You know, we're still, we're still good. Bit. There's a little bit we've still got to finish off. Well, it looks like uh, Pixie is going to be joining us for the player interview. Uh, it is a very, very interesting last round coming through, but at the same time, uh, nevertheless entertaining and fun. Remember, all of these games are in good faith that, you know, high schools compete against each other. Sometimes you don't have the best uh, synergy or even the best squad or practice, um, you know, strategy out there. But it's also to get back into it and, you know, put yourself onto the roadmap for the future of Meta HSC and also, you know, the future of esports in high schools as a, you know, official choice of sport especially in these days uh, with everything happening um and and so uh, we do have pixie uh joining us pixie how are you doing i'm good how are you boys <laughs> fantastic yeah. i mean uh, so it wasn't quite the the five duelists we saw in the second game but up to four that time again i guess it was the same question i asked the first one were you guys nervous i mean the four duelists come out especially on somewhere like breeze where there's a lot of open areas 
I mean, you, your hearts must have just been fluttering the moment the game started. Yeah, after the first few rounds, like, wasn't wasn't really a concern. But yeah, at the start, I shot brought it up. Uh, didn't really notice at the start, and then yeah, li- maybe a little bit, but not too much. Good game though. Yeah, fantastic game. Uh, you know, obviously, a uh, very well done in uh, securing the win uh, tonight. Uh, I think. That like I gotta get you insight into this, right? So Lazy, who's been able to like you know multi frag like no tomorrow and pretty much three sixty blaze it. Like, what is the contention with the your strategy and how he plays into your style? I don't know. He, he can play like any agent. I show I show let him let him out today. That's what he said. He said, Lazy, you're going out today. And then yeah, he just fragged out. <laughs> no hold back. Wish I could do that to say, yeah, I'm going to this today and just drop a 28 bomb from 16 rounds. Not too bad at all. But yes. uh, with other stuff, I guess watching from those kind of games where it can be a bit of a blowout. I mean, for you guys, what do you personally try and take from those type of games? I mean, from like looking at different strats, you try and play in the playbook or I guess uh, trying or using different methods to try and get kills and the guns as well because they pulled out a lot of buckies. That's <laughs> yeah. probably the most I've ever seen. Uh, has that maybe swayed you guys to uh, maybe attempt to use the bucky strat because there were a few <laughs> decent kills of them? Uh, no, not really. Uh, I don't know. It's just a bit of fun like seeing that on the other team. We, 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 we were just laughing the whole time. <laughs> hey, look, you know... Uh, Fun is ultimately what we try to achieve. So uh, before we conclude tonight's uh, interview, uh, would you like to shout out anyone? Uh, shout out to Sunny and shout out to Lynn. There we go. Uh, there we go. Those Thank you very much. Ah, there you go. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight on the play interview. And of course, for winning tonight's closing game. We wish to see more Glen Waverley Secondary College into the future and to the future uh, weeks. So, yeah, GG to you guys. GG, boys. GG, right. indeed. That, that was Zay coming in for the chant there, Mr. Pixie, to finish us off. And, Amp, well, a three very interesting games a 13 11. A five duelist uh, 13 2, and then a four duelist 13 4. So we had it all over the place tonight, and it was definitely a very, uh, you know, enjoyable night to go along with. But uh, I guess we are almost done here. But before we do go, we do have to, you know, thank our sponsors. We, of course, have the boys over at Torrens University for providing us with that. a bit of a sponsor one there. We love what they do for that one. Thank you very much to them and the design of college that they have and also to msi providing uh the students and i believe that's actually part of the prize package that comes later in the year with a you know the gaming peripheral to get the job done to win those rounds to perform like lazy go off with a two ko or two kill death ratio for no other reason just because you can and also i guess uh to my boy mr m thank you for joining me as always make sure you go check him out on twitter at twitch mr emperor underscore zk Mr. Temporal, who was on the observation tonight, always does fantastic work for us. Make sure you go check him out. He's also on Twitter, that Mr. Temporal, and probably Twitch as well. And finally, Mr. Black Nico, who does run the entirety of production in the background, does fantastic stuff, even if his PC doesn't particularly allow it sometimes. We're hoping he gets that graphic card too. I mean, if he was playing in the tournament, he actually might be able to win one. But unfortunately, he's got to pay for it, like all of us. So very sad stuff there. But uh, yeah, I mean, another great night. And we will be back, I believe, well, unless something would happen next Thursday as well for more action. So make sure you follow this Twitch. Yep. Um, definitely follow uh, twitch.tv forward slash meta HSC, meta HSC 2 for the latest Valorant, League of Legends, and Rocket League for, uh, you know, the oncoming competition. But of course, don't forget yourself, Mr. Has Daddy Slim, the, you know, almighty handsome uh, beard meister right now living on the farms, uh, you know, coming in to make sure that I'm not stranded by myself casting it. Uh, he's done, always doing fantastic jobs uh, with us. And, you know, we obviously does uh, do a lot of casting all around OC. So you will be seeing from us once again very very soon. If you haven't done already, make sure to follow at has that is slim, um, you know, on his Twitter and of course twitch.tv forward slash has that is slim, uh, where eventually he's gonna be renamed as uh, as handsome 
has that is slim. But before we go any more yeah, further, I don't need, I don't need to <laughs> name myself something I already know I am. Oh, oh, right there, right well, there. So you're making me blush, mate. Well, so, so, I mean, you've got to remember yourself. You are a very sexy individual. <laughs> Well, uh, this is how we do it. If you do enjoy all of our casting, make sure to keep following us on what we do. But before anything else, we'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure to take care of yourself. Stay healthy. Do your homework. You know, be amazing. And we shall see you once again next week. Peace out.